Hello YouTube! It is the 14th of December and today we are doing our, ooh, what is it, 7th day of Vlogmas? So we're like halfway, kind of, in a, you know, a very lenient way. Uh, <laughs> we're doing great, okay? Yeah. Uh, so today I have had a really nice day. I recorded a video with the lovely Mangrove Jane. Uh, and and there was much giggling and it took a really long time because we were really 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 giggly so when that video comes out I will be sure to point it out but in the meantime I will link to Mangrove Jane's channel down below in the description because she's really sweet and Australian and fun and sees the wonder in everything and is absolutely charming and if you like me you'll probably like her well, because of that, I've used my voice up quite a lot today, so we're going to do our advents, and then I don't have anything else planned for today. Starting out, our lipstick by Adored for today. I've actually shared out quite a lot because it's really pink, and I don't like pink, but this is cute on me, so let me show you it full. There it is, the full color. It is glossy and pretty and nice. I have heard someone say that the Adored Advent Calendar actually uh, gives different lips for Katwa and Lelutka each day. So I'm really sorry if you wear a Katwa head and I have been showing you the wrong lips, but I don't have a shape I'm comfortable with with Katwa, so I can't show you those. <laughs> But yeah, if it turns out that Katwa has different free lips that they give on their daily advent calendar, let me know, and then I'll know. I'll, I'll be so much the wiser. Our nails from Hello Dave are this kind of, uh, I want to say mink color, but that's really not it. It's very nice. It's a sort of slightly brown, slightly pink color with brown snowflakes. I'm very into this color. So that is our Hello Dave for the 13th. From Sways today, we have this red throw pillow. It is star shaped. It doesn't contain any animations. It's just for pretties. And it is indeed pretty. I am loving the star theme that is going on in this, uh, this year's Sways advent calendar. I'm really loving that motif. And Abranimations has this emu rider costume, which I'm not gonna lie, it looks like a complete hoot, so let's just check that out. The emu ride costume comes in five colors and has an alpha layer, and honestly, with a mesh body, I think this is gonna be a little more complicated than the ad makes it look, so bear with me a moment. So, wow, uh, wow, okay. <laughs> Well, first thing to bear in mind is if you're wearing a mesh body, uh, then you will need to alpha out your lower half. Because while it does come with an alpha, that only applies to system avatars. So if you're going to wear this with a mesh body, you need to get rid of your entire legs or the mystery is gone. <laughs> Second of all, um, I think I think it probably works on hip width, and boy, do I have, oh, <laughs> boy, do I apparently have some wide hips. So let's let's temporarily slim me down just a little. Okay, uh. So after some finessing, I've got it looking a bit less dumb. <laughs> uh, interestingly, butt size has a lot to do with this. My avatar has a size zero butt, and interestingly, that made this uh, this emu thing wider. But I also tinkered with the leg length, which obviously made it taller and the saddlebags and so on and I will not be saving that copy of my shape but um um so this is ah this is me trying to steer 
from keeping my camera at this angle and that is what it looks like when it walks around which is hilarious actually um that is fun that is the emu legs costume from ah goodbye <laughs> That is the Emu Legs costume from Abranimations, and that is a lot of fun once you get it looking slightly less absurd, but the style of absurd that it's supposed to look. <laughs> now enough of that silliness. It has come to my attention that the glorious superstar Strawberry Singh has issued a challenge for us to show us your animals, your various pets and whatnot that you have in Second Life. And I have plenty. I have quite the menagerie. It's not an exciting menagerie, I gotta say. It's now y'all are acquainted with Vixen here. Look at her looking so innocent when actually she bushes and shoves me all over the place. Now she is a kitty cat mega puss. A cool thing about the mega puss is that not only are they gigantic, boy howdy are they gigantic. I also am able to ride her. Yes, she is essentially a steed, a mighty steed. Look at us go! Wee! And plus the kitty cat's mega puss, you can also um, you can also wear as an avatar. You can be the mega puss, which is pretty fascinating. And also, ah, there is a special version of it you can get from here, if I just shift this across for a second, where you can actually wear it as a HUD. Um, excuse me, that is an undignified pose. Uh -huh. You can wear it as a HUD and you can just watch it, like, play on your screen and that is so super cute. So I'm going to return her home and show you some of my other pets. These giraffes here don't really count as pets, but I've had them pretty much the entire time I've been in Second Life, proportionally. Uh, when my husband and I first met in real life, one of the things we did is we went to London Zoo. And I was absolutely captivated by the giraffes there. <laughs> and so when he'd gone back home to America and I was here, and we were here in Second Life. He bought me lots of giraffes, which is very, very sweet. And here they stand, being quirky, and peeping through the window. Hi! And so, those aren't really pets, or even animals, by today's standards. But in 2007, they were pretty sweet. Um, inside the house, you can meet a few more of my kitty cats. This is Willow over here sleeping next to each other are the twins Bulb and Susuatari which I'm sure I have butchered the pronunciation of but apparently according to internet um, is you know in Howl's Moving Castle and I think in Totoro um, there are these little like soot moat not Howl's Moving Castle um, Spirited Away uh, there are these little little dust moats with faces that go around from what I gather, those are called that in Japanese. It means like, you know, football or, or something. I'm not sure. It's just what the internet told me, alright? But basically, you know, she is called Bulb because she's glowing. He is called Suzuwatari because he's pretty sooty and they love it by the fireplace here. Sleeping with the most dignity in the world on my fake grass floor is Zvezda. Which, um, again, according to the internet, is Russian for star. Oh, upstairs with his tongue sticking out. Oh, he heard me. Oh, no, he, he, he don't care. Is, is Yinky. He was my first ever um, kitty cat. He's quite old by kitty cat standards. I, I think he's at least five years old. But, hang on, let me see. 2410 days. That's that's years. I I cannot be bothered to math. But it's it's many, many times. And over here is Meowminster Fuller. Now Meowminster Fuller is not my cat. He is my husband's cat. Um 
many years ago, his real life childhood cat sadly died. And he was the other side of the world with me when it happened because the cat lived with his mom. And uh, so I bought him back at the, in the day, it was a Zuby cat. It was just a static sculpty cat, um, which he named Meow Mr. Fuller. And then time passed and kitty cats were released. And so we replaced the original Meow Mr. Fuller with this fella. And he was actually the first kitty cat in our house. And finally sleeping up here on the roof is our smallest kitty cat. His name is Buff and he is a teacup cat. He's very, very small. If you see him to scale, he is extremely small. Now, kitty cats are all breedables, but I've only ever had them as pets. I, the only breedables I, the only breedables I've ever done are the now sadly gone Ozimals bunny. Sorry for the break in audio here. Things got a bit weird and screwy, and I had to try and resync the audio. And I'm a noob. I don't know what I'm doing. So good luck. But yes, I've I've always liked kitty cats as pets, and as soon as possible. I give them permapet status so I don't have to feed them or anything and they just wander around my house like I'm a crazy cat lady. Now other than those guys, I've got, oh I've got this little duck or goose, I can't remember what we decided, um, in the flower pot which was given to me by a friend. I think he's a goose, I think, I think the joke was that I always called him different names. <laughs> like sometimes he was called Use and sometimes he was called Moose and sometimes he was called Loose and sometimes he was called Seuss and so on. Um, down here is a Jan Lively Lab. He's a cutie pie. He's a wanderer. That means he just runs about the place and spreads adorableness and sometimes whoops. Gambles around. He's very sweet. He is also to replace a much older sculpty animal that we once had here. He doesn't have a name. Long time viewers of the channel will remember my laundry lab from where I have historically done Luxbox unboxing videos and might remember this little fella. This Jack Russell also by Gian. He lives down here. He, he likes to lick up the galaxy paint. He's fine. He doesn't mind. I forgot about him for months. <laughs> And then one day I came down here to check for something and I didn't see this other and I logged out. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> when I logged back in the next day, my camera was just centered on this little happy boy who was woofing and bouncing around and so happy to see me. And so I figure he likes it down here, you know? I, I'm not um, over here next to the little house that uh, is Isley's room. We have a corner of the land that is always autumn. Always full of orchard trees because we have these adorable birds. They're by D-Lab and I love them so much. They were they were an arcade item a few years ago. They're called Pip Pip and the wonderful thing about them is they fly around and I mean they fly around like a wanderer you know they fly around in all the space and they interact with the little props that are around like you can see this fella taking a little bath in this bird bath that's hanging off the tree this guy is just sitting on a perch and they come over to say hello and it's just so lovely that they interact with all this stuff I'm just so absolutely in love with these but they're, they're quite old they're quite brimmy but they're just so cute just the the detail that has gone into them I love them and sometimes sometimes they actually come and visit Isley in her room. They, they fly in through the window and just come and say hi to her and I love them so much. They are the cutest and so yeah I've got all I've got a lot of the set. Not the full set but I have a lot of it and it is just one of my favorite things. The, the, uh, the D-Lab Pip-Pip. They're still available they're just completely precious. As I run through my garden I would like to 
talk about some various sparkly things I have here, like these sparkles that aren't loading and are just showing up as, as beautiful, um, beautiful grey squares. But when they're loaded, they're, do you see these, these sparkles here? Like these little spots? I've got various butterflies and birds just dotted all over the place just to be decorative and to make some noise. But up here, at this far end of my garden, I have this little farm. Now, these guys could do with being updated, quite honestly, some of them. I, I don't mean by, you know, by the creator, I just mean I've had these guys a long time. But I have a cow and a sheep who, who you know, just likes to be not contained by, by your walls. Yeah, the sheep, they, they got out. You sheep! And a rather cartoony chicken. Well, pair of chickens by Silent Sparrow. And these goats. Now this goat has a ticket to the matinee. It's void. Um, I used to have some old, some different goats and one had a hat with a press pass in it. So that was novel. Oh, I still need to make the pond ice. Um, over here is a squirrel. He doesn't do anything, but he's a squirrel. And on my comeback video, you might have noticed the um, the squirrel that was behind me, who was running around and falling off the bird feeder and all that. Um, he's cute too. And of course, in terms of pets, there's always this lady over here, our good friend the bot. She actually, as much as I joke about her, I, I wish she'd go away. She's nothing to do with me. This is my second time recording this segment because for some reason the audio recorded but not the video. What? But the other thing I have going on is this seagull. Uh, he was made a long time ago by the wonderful Anya Omai, who is still a genius and amazing. <laughs> now I have him here because where I live, down on the southeast coast of England, I live right by the sea and everywhere is seagulls. My entire life the noise has been seagulls. And like when people visit from out of town they're all like, oh my god, how do you how do you sleep? Those seagulls are so noisy and honestly I don't even hear them anymore. But uh, when when this came out some years ago I I needed it because yeah. That is my life. So I think that's about it for all the animals I've got on my land right now. Um, or any significant animals anyway. So that leaves just one more thing. This is for you, Tam. <laughs> it's, it's dignified. It's adorable. <laughs> it's glorious. And it's engaging. Yesterday's <laughs> Branimation Toy Giraffe Avatar sitting on yesterday's Sway's Advent Star Floor Cushion. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's time for us to end the video, so we end how we always do with outfit credits. Now, my hair is a multi style hair by Little Bones, it is at the current round of Collab or 88 and it is called Galaxy. My eye makeup is by Vici and is at Paying It Forward which we visited yesterday. It's called Noel and it comes in a bunch of shades and has this wonderful glitter accent. I am absolutely in love with it. My lips as we spoke of are from the adored advent calendar. Now my sweater dress is wonderful. I really love it and it is by Coco. And it's called the Nordic Sweater Dress. It's available in various colors and also comes with this puffer vest. Now each different color of dress comes with a different color of vest. And I think I'll be back for more in all honesty because I love everything about this. I really like like the wrinkling on it. And yeah, it's just so wearable. It's a really nice shape. I adore it. Absolutely adore it. Now my tights are appliers by Izzy. They're relatively old. They are called the studded tights and they come in various colors too. I think they're, they're, they add a nice accent to the outfit, I think. And my boots are by Rain. 
They were an anniversary gift from Rain for their third anniversary and they are called the Amaya Boots. If you've enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe because, you know, I like people liking me. Everyone likes to be liked and I'm sure people like to be subscribed. I, I haven't really polled people on that. You know, their, their feelings on specifically being subscribed. No YouTube involved, just subscriptions, okay? <laughs> So remember, keep an eye out for Groves, Mangrove Jane's uh, video featuring the both of us. And otherwise, go visit her anyway, because she's brilliant. And I will see you tomorrow, probably. And love you, bye!